Hello everyone. In this section, we are going to talk about accessing native APIs. Native APIs are the essence of hardware access of any device and any platform. We will be covering different native APIs that are available on most of the platforms that are supported. We will cover the following sensors, accelerometer, compass, and geolocation. There are different native APIs like battery status, device motion, device orientation, geolocation, globalization, vibration, and many, many more. But before accessing native APIs, we need to know the history of native APIs. Before phone gap, there were framework solutions that optimized web page content to fit in on the small screens, which were the norm back then. There were still restrictions compared to native applications, especially when it came to accessing native features. Among them were hardware sensors. This was before the proliferation of HTML5 standard features, so there was really no way of accessing them without making a native application. A wide array of hardware sensors supported through native APIs improves the functionality of hybrid application. And this is how the popularity of phone gap development increased. Using them can replace the need of a native application. This means that it costs less to develop a hybrid application than to build a separate version for all the platforms that do not share any code and then maintain it since every platform uses a different programming language. Plugins that we will explore in detail in the following chapters are the main reason why the development of PhoneGap application has risen. There are so many other plugins that extend the support for specialized hardware features that are not yet part of PhoneGap core plugin. In general, we divide them into four different categories. These four categories are device status plugins, location-based plugins, media functionality plugins, and notification plugins. Again, to access these plugins, these native APIs, we need a real device to test because most of the sensors are not present in the simulator. So we are going to connect our device and we are going to make sure that the device is in developer mode. If you don't know what developer mode is, just search online how you can enable the developer mode or development mode inside your Android device or iOS device. So let's see about each of these categories. Device status plugin. Device status plugin gives back the information or trigger an event that is related to the inner working of the device. Here, we are going to explain more about it by recourse to the battery status plugin, which returns the current charge of the battery, whether the battery has gone low or high. Motion sensing plugin. There are many motion sensing plugins that give different data for different sensors inside the device under different circumstances. In this section, we are going to cover the plugins for compass orientation, acceleration of the device in various directions, and GPS location data for orientation in the real world. These are all location data that we would need for anything that is related to updating or searching. Media functionality plugins. Media functionality plugins are a large group of plugins that range from media capture plugins of photos and videos and audio. These plugins are used for capturing and retrieving these media. We are going to learn more about them in this section. Since these plugins are an important part of an application, an application is incomplete without these plugins. Notification plugin. Notification plugin are another important group of plugins that return feedback or information to the user through different sources and through different channels. In this section, we are going to take a look together at vibration plugin that emits vibration to notify the user. Thank you.